Bob Stark here, and today I'm going to go over light wrapping. And just to explain what light wrapping would actually be in the real world versus what it is in compositing, I have this picture right here. And it's good because you have the light that's just kind of being scattered in her hair. And as you can see, the side over here is kind of blue. Over here is blue, and there's some gold coming in that you can see here. Now, where you're going to run into this usually is when you are doing like green screen or something, you're compositing over the background. And it happens a lot where you're looking and you're like, okay, everything looks, something looks off. And this is not usually what it is, but this could be one of the things that it is. So I'm going to do a super kind of stylized one just because I feel like a lot of people go over this where it's just like green screen, normal background. So I'm, I'm just, I don't know, I'm going to be different with it. So so right here, I just have this comp set up and I have this uh, woman cut out and I have this background. Only the background's animated, which is fine, but I wanted to point something out too because there's something that you could run into with this that happens that I've seen people get kind of lost with it. And it's just making sure that you pre-comp things. So it's nothing crazy, but as you can see, like this thing goes over the full like size of the actual comp. So when we do it, we just want to pre-comp this and we'll just call this, I'm just gonna call it BG. So now you can see the whole thing is this. And the reason why we want it that way is because I want it to work properly. So in fact, let's see, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I'm just gonna go to set mat I'm going to show you what not to do and why this would happen. So, so set mat, and then we're going to choose woman as our alpha, and then turn this on. And as you can see, as I turn it on, it they don't match, and that's pretty much the entire reason I'm saying to make sure that we pre-comp it. So another thing, too, is that there are plugins for this, but again, if you don't have a plugin, this is it's just good to know how to do this because it could come in handy for I don't I don't for who knows what you know that's the cool thing about learning this stuff. Uh, so what I'm gonna do first is I kind of want the you know obviously the background to kind of match this the stylized look. So I'm just gonna do a tint okay before we pre comp it and I just have these numbers written down. So let's turn it to a hundred and then this guy's gonna be like red so. It, There you go. So they kind of match. And they match close enough. And then we'll oh, maybe right there is good. So I would say that's another thing too is make sure you are color matching your foreground and background. I mean that that's probably going to be another tutorial, but let's just continue. So so we will pre-compose this guy and we'll just call this BG. And then I'm gonna duplicate this guy and duplicate this. And the reason why I'm doing this is because what I want to do is I wanna have control for when we overlay, which you'll see in a bit. So we're gonna call this our, our light wrap, okay? So right now it's the entire thing, but do not worry, it won't be. So we have our color here, okay? Now what we're gonna do is a set matte just like we had, okay? And then we want the alpha from woman. And now when we turn this on, oh, see, I already made a mistake because I didn't pre-comp this, which that is my bad. So actually, let's just copy this guy, delete, delete. I don't know, I should just delete it here. We'll go up, animated, it's rotated. I think it was negative 90. Had it something like here, paste it. Okay, layer pre-compose. Make sure it's move all, not leave all, or it's gonna keep that size. So let's call this background. And I'm leaving in my mistakes just, you know, in case you run into it. <laughs> so let's duplicate this and we'll call this top woman. Now we will pre-comp these guys. Okay. 
we'll call this light wrap. Simple enough. And right now it's just the full thing, but don't worry. We're doing it because I want to uh, have more control, change the opacity, blur it, all that stuff. We'll get to it in a second. So we're going to turn off woman and we're going to use this layer. So we already have the color set, which is cool. So we don't have to do that again. So now we're going to do set map. And we want the alpha from the woman. As you can see, now they match. All right, perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and do a channel blur. And actually, I've noticed if I do it from there, it doesn't pull up the Adobe one, it pulls up the Boris FX one. So this might be off your screen, but blur sharpen, and then you just go to your channel blur. And we're going to blur the alpha channel, OK? You can see that it's sort of blurring inwards. And we want to definitely repeat edge pixels, because if we don't, it's going to the light wrap will come in from the bottom, and we don't want that. OK, so next thing we're going to do is just a fast box blur, OK? And same thing here. Now we're going to actually duplicate the set at, bring this down here, and then we're actually going to go to the top and invert it. So now we have this edge. And essentially what's happening is these guys control it. OK, so you could do blurriness here, blurriness here. All right. So let's see, something like this, and then alpha blur. But I don't. I kind of don't want to stop here, because here's the other thing, too. If you're doing all of this, and we have this on top, let's just take it one step further. And we'll just do a null object, and we'll call this controller. OK, so we'll call this, we'll go into our expressions, da -da -da -da, expression controllers, and we're just going to do a slider. We'll call this alpha blur, blur, duplicate this, call this opacity. Now let's just start connecting stuff to here. So we have this light wrap here. And you can turn this off because it doesn't do anything. Now I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to lock this guy so that when we go down, I'm just going to Pick with it to all these guys. So right now, so see, you can see that's working. All right. And then we'll go into our light wrap. OK, now here we go. So it's the alpha blur, and it was 39. So we'll change it to this. OK, and then. Fast box blur, and we had the blur radius to 10. So there's that. And we'll change this guy to 10. All right, now let's go back to how it was. Sorry. I know this is long winded, but just good practice because then you have this all set up and you don't have to keep diving in. Okay, so now what we're going to do is. I'm in 16-bit, and I'm going to do screen, OK? So if we turn it on and off, it's very subtle, but it's still going to you know, really dial it in. And let's just turn it off. You can see it's creating this silhouette around it. But again, what I was saying is that our light wrap here, we could actually go in, and this gives us another set of controls to push it in. And then even go in and just do a fast box blur if we want to kind of give it like a more of a halo y type look there. And then again, it doesn't need to be like insane, but we could still. So now that we're all connected in here, see what I'm talking about? It's kind of neat. It's almost like you're making your own tool. Okay. So let me just fit it. But we could also just do a camera lens blur. What's neat too to keep in mind is I'm going to make a new viewer. 
and again this isn't something that's gonna like obviously mind-blowing but i still think it's neat is that it's it is dynamic in the sense that as we move it you'll see an update here so it's all red right blue so if i just ran preview all right so you could kind of see it crawling and i know this isn't the most realistic comp obviously because it's just a photo in front of something but it's cool because it's you know dynamic so this is something you should really start doing if you don't have the plugin that does it for you but now you know how to do it so i know it was long-winded but i just wanted to cover all the bases on it so i hope this helped